Want more videos kindly? Like and subscribe. This is the story of a former roommate I had several years ago. I live in Germany. English is not my first language. This neckbeard's name was Hans, and I lived with him for one year after I graduated college. He and I shared an apartment with a third person. I had always thought that Hans was a strange man, but I never tried to put him into any kind of category. In reading stories from this subreddit though, I realized that Hans was most definitely a neckbeard. When I first met Hans, nothing particularly strange jumped out at me. He was about average height and chubby, but nowhere near as fat as neckbeards seem to often get. Unlike the stereotype of neckbeards, Hans didn't stink. In fact, his hygiene was perfectly fine. Granted, Europe places less emphasis on personal hygiene than America does, so maybe by American standards Hans would be considered stinky. He did dress in some neckbeardy clothes, but I'll talk more about that later. What Hans lacked in neckbeardy appearance though, he more than made up for with his actions and personality. Hans spent most of his free time playing video games, often World of Warcraft. On the weekends, he often played WoW for 15 hours a day. Hans also watched a lot of anime, sometimes in his room, and sometimes on the TV in the living room with the volume turned up. This was done with the ever-present unhealthy foods in his hand. On the topic of unhealthy foods, let me tell you about what Hans ate. While American neckbeards like Doritos and Mountain Dew, Hans preferred more German foods. He loved Crunchips, which are German chips flavored with paprika. They taste similar to barbecue potato chips. He also ate a lot of Kinder brand chocolate. In place of Mountain Dew, Hans drank Spetzi, which is a German soda which tastes like a mix of cola and orange flavor. When Hans's mother came to visit, which was often, she would bring Lebkuchen, which are German cookies similar to gingerbread. Come to think of it, I don't think Hans ever ate a fruit or vegetable the entire year I knew him. He did sometimes make pasta or quesadillas in the kitchen, but he would always sit in front of the TV and eat them as he watched anime. I'm sure you can imagine the horrific bowel movements this man generated as a result of this diet, and you would be correct. Hans spent easily 30 to 45 minutes on the toilet every morning. Hans worked in an electronics store during the time I knew him. He certainly knew a lot about televisions, computers, and gaming systems, but Hans thought of himself as far more intelligent than he actually was. He liked to talk about topics he knew very little about. I'm pretty sure that most of Hans's information on these topics came from Wikipedia, as he often would have Wikipedia open on his computer. Have you seen the, bro explaining, meme? That's about what a conversation with Hans felt like. He truly did fit the stereotype of neckbeard saying, actually, followed by almost certainly false information. Now Hans considered himself as a special forces soldier, despite having zero training in any form of fighting style. Hans liked to wear those synthetic police pants with the big pockets. I'm not sure what you would call them in English, but you get the idea. He also wore black leather boots which looked like he bought them online for less than $30. Knowing him, he probably did. Hans also liked Star Wars and video game shirts, which, combined with his pants and boots made for a very unfashionable combination. The outfit was completed with one of Hans's hats. His favorite was his Dallas Cowboys hat, which was weird because never had any interest in American football, not to mention the fact that we lived an entire ocean away from Texas. Hans always carried a knife. I always have my pocket knife with me too, but while mine is small and discreet, Hans's was ugly, huge, and looked like it cost $10. No matter what was going on, that big stupid knife was always clipped in Hans's pants. When Hans wasn't playing WoW, or defiling the toilet with his ungodly stools, he could sometimes be found in the living room practicing his fighting skills. 
Along with WoW, one of the games Hans liked was Metal Gear Solid, and he said he based his fighting moves on what the main character, Solid Snake, did in the game. Why this was the game he chose, I have no idea. But while Snake was a large strong man who knew how to fight, Hans was a chubby man-child who had the skill and coordination of a drunken bear. I would see him swing his fists around at an imaginary assailant, then after a minute or two he would get out of breath and sit down to drink a cup of Spetsy. Once he regained his breath, Hans would get back up and practice his knife-fighting skills. This consisted of more of the same. He would stand there and wave his knife around to mimic fighting his assailant. The only good thing was that German laws prevented Hans from owning any guns. If this had happened, I'm sure we would have ended up with the roof, floor, or walls accidentally getting ventilated with bullet holes. Hans was also a proud atheist. A significant number of people in Germany are atheist, but few match Hans's interest in talking about the subject or his complete scorn for those who believe religion. Hans had a shelf of extremely atheist books, and he would proudly discuss them with anyone who would listen. Hans called religious people, Teletubbies or a quinker, which roughly translates as, one who waves back to Teletubbies, and is apparently used to describe a person who is stupid or childish. I've lived in Germany my whole life, and Hans was the first person I've heard use this term. It does seem to be quite popular on the internet though. I assure you it sounds nearly as ridiculous in German as it does in English. He would also go on rants to nobody in particular about how there being a god is impossible because it would violate the laws of thermodynamics. Not that Hans knew anything about thermodynamics, but that wouldn't stop him from talking about it. For all Hans's weirdness though, he mostly just kept to himself and didn't bother me. As far as I know, he didn't stalk women or talk with them in a creepy way as many neckbeards seem to do. He was certainly a strange man, but he was pretty harmless. Hans wasn't nearly as bad a roommate as many neckbeards would be. He didn't stink, and he never made a mess or anything like that. The more I think about it, the more I realize that I would be willing to have Hans as a roommate again. Do you think his roommate was a neckbeard? Leave an answer in the comment section. Want more videos kindly, like and subscribe thanks for listening.